were in business for a long time before you were in television. What is your take, you know, coming from the world of finance? Is this idea of Trump as a great businessman, is it a mirage, or is there something to the idea that he was good at this other thing before he was president? Well, you, if you were to compare him to Mitt Romney, when Mitt Romney ran, all of his peers in private equity backed him. When President Trump ran, you didn't see anyone from the big real estate universe. You didn't see any big New York business people back him. You saw people in middle America who wanted a change. And the thing is, he did a brilliant thing in that he went to see them. Those rallies were in places where I haven't visited. I don't know if you visited. And he gave people hope. The twisted thing is, he gave them hope without an actual resolution. He had the smarts to say, I'm going to solve income inequality, but he's not doing it. When he says, I'm going to go after trade, that's a good idea. There are issues. China, yeah, there's problems there. But what, he, what he's actually doing makes no sense. If he said, intellectual property or artificial intelligence, we're going to go after that. President Trump, if you asked him about AI, no joke, he would think it was a steak sauce. Yeah. So, what he's, so what he's offering the American people? <laughs> he has, he, he's a brilliant marketer with no real solutions, and the country needs solutions. You know, he falls back on the economy every time it seems like he's cornered. Is there anything missing? Because like you said, consumer confidence is up, uh, you know, business confidence is up. Is there an argument to be made that he's, he's making a fair point when he says, hey, despite everything and despite you know, how it's a circus at the White House, uh, the economy is good? Or is there something that he's leaving out there? Well, there's something to remember. The economy was good before President Trump took office. It was a slow and steady climb out of the financial crisis. What Obama didn't do was sell it very well. He's a, he's a somewhat of a, not a soft-spoken guy, but certainly more humble than Trump. Everyone is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and when Trump says things are great and it's trickling down, it's not. We have lots of people with jobs, and that's great, but they just don't pay enough money. And so this idea that things are going to trickle down, if you look at Republicans that are running for office now in the midterms, they don't talk about the economy because they know in their states people aren't living comfortably. It's those who are, don't need to run again. They're saying, look at this economy. It's great. It's great for big business. Right after Trump won, I don't know if you remember, he, went, he snuck out of Trump Tower uh, and he went to the 21 Club, right? One of the fanciest restaurants in New York. Lots of people love it. Filled with wealthy people. And he said, I'm going to lower your taxes. And he did. So President Trump wanted to impress and do this for the wealthiest people, and he has done that. The concern is the people who voted for change aren't going to get that change. I showed one of your greatest hits, and again, I'm a fan of your work, but I do, I think it's only fair to show what really one of the flubs of the year. I, I have to tell you, I loved it. We were really happy when you did it. And, I'm glad you were. My yeah, kids were, um, too. My uh, kids were. Ki yeah. This, I will say, if your mom was on TV and you were a kid, you'd be very happy about this. So here you are, <laughs> not as sharp as you were earlier. Let's take a look. As California is farting, is, is excuse me, fighting the largest wildfire in the state's history. <laughs> farting. Well, there are a lot of vegans in California. That's true. There are a lot of yep. cleanses that yep. go on, so no, they could I, be right. farting. They're farting the wildfires. They could be farting. Listen, I did not get into television <laughs> until I was 36. Yeah. So if you wanted a TV presenter who is a teleprompter superstar with perfect posture and all of those things, then you pick the wrong girl. No, I want, um, uh, I want you know, uh, once a year, someone who accidentally says farting. <laughs> you know what? We're going to keep it real, and, you know, farting happens. <laughs> it does yes. happen. Thanks so much for being here.